Urban poverty and disease, coupled with the labor conflicts of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, also fueled calls for the exclusion of Poles, Jews, Russians, and others considered to be lesser immigrants. Spouting a new brand of so-called scientific racism, critics charged that these groups were diluting the genetic stock of Anglo-Saxon America. From the rate at which immigrants are increasing, it is obvious that our very lifeblood is at stake. There is a great hazard in the mongrelizing of distinctly unrelated races. Michael F. Geyer, 1916. Scientific racism was an attempt to give the, the aura or the authority of science to the racist idea that there was a, a rung or a hierarchy of peoples, that the Anglo-Saxon people were superior, and it went down from there. Um, other peoples, including Slavs, Jews, blacks, uh, were somewhat lower on the ladder. Unlike the Chinese, Southern and Eastern Europeans were never excluded outright from America's shores. In the 1920s, however, Congress would enact new restrictions that sought to return America to its ethnic balance of the 1890s, before the huge influx of Italians, Jews, Slavs, and Poles. But there was no turning back. For in America's cities, the new immigrants had already created a new urban culture. <laughs>